Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This past week, I was chasing whitetails down in Texas with some of my buddies. Awesome, awesome deer camp. This video is specific to me getting a whitetail on the ground with the 6.5 Weatherby RPM cartridge. Let me tell you, I'm a believer. I tested it in the field quite a bit today, but let's get right to the footage. When I got there, my buddy in Texas had already bore sighted it and got it close. I'm going to start this video off with me and three three-shot groups. First, I was low, made adjustment, then I was right, and then I got it dead on before we got out to the field. Let's look up at the range here real quick, getting ready to go out in the field, then we're going to get right into all the hunting footage. I'm super excited to show you this whitetail footage. Check it out. It's going to be an awesome video. There's the last three hits in that bottom left there. Alright, first morning. The sun's just about to peak over the horizon. We're going to keep our eyes peeled for a nice buck. A couple guys went out last night and saw a couple of nice deer. see some hogs out here stay tuned I'll give you a look at what I'm looking at once the sun comes up a little bit more keep your fingers crossed we just had these two hogs come out and say hello to us at first light let's get a little bit better And unfortunately, that coyote got away from me. It is so hard to self-film coyote and predator stuff. The second, you can see there, he didn't want to stand still. The second I get the camera on him, then try to get down on that Weatherby, 
he'd get up and trot a few more. And I ended up stopping him to a good hard stop three times just with a whoop, whoop and a whistle. And if I had just been hunting and not filming, I had him at 20 yards sitting there scratching like a dog. So I got the cameras on every time I stopped him. By the time I'd get on him, he'd go out of frame. So unfortunately, that dude got away. But fortunately, right after he took off, some does came in. And then right after those does ended up being the biggest buck that I had seen the entire trip. Check this out. All right, so the guides had pounded it into our brains. Do not take a small buck. You probably need close to 120 inches or more, or at least a four or five year old deer. So when this buck came, I saw the side profile. I made the immediate decision. That is too small. That might be a three year old deer, kind of young. Um, and that's definitely not 120. I, I made that instant decision, uh, easy decision. But then when he got about a hundred yards away from me, and he gave me a front on look, then it kind of changed my mind a little bit. He looked bigger from that frontal view than what I had seen from the side. He's got curved main beams. It kind of messes with your eyes and thinks he's smaller than he really is. But look at this front view that he gave me right here that kind of made me think about squeezing one off on him. I think we're after a buck a little bigger than him. He's a pretty buck though. That's a real cool shot of that buck right there. He's at 25 yards right now. He's right in front of us, 25 yards. Right there.
So that front view, it definitely looks quite a bit bigger. But on this buck, I let him walk. This isn't the buck that I took. I found an even older deer, older buck than this one. Check it out. Stay tuned. We got lots more footage. We saw a good buck this morning. Let him walk. Now I'm up here in the blind with my new buddy Barefoot Bob. And right when we got in the stand, a buck comes out. So we're going to see if we can get a closer look at him and maybe take a shot. I was about to say, he's got to be a three-year-old deer. What time is it right now? It's 3.45. Oh, we still got, what, two hours of daylight? Yeah, this, this camera right here. I could zoom in on a deer at a mile away. <laughs> That's neat. Has he got both his brow tines? I haven't seen the right side. I haven't either. But I, I recognize him here, and I think I do. He's got both brow tines. There he is, yeah. He's got good brow tines. One I saw this morning was bigger. Yeah, the one that this morning was substantially bigger. He's wider than the other one. Yeah. And they're right next to each other now.
we're gonna wait till we can get good eyes on him to see if he's big enough or not. How big you think that one is? What? How big you think that one is? As compared to the one you seen before, he's not as big as that one. Oh yeah, he's, he's not as big as one this anything morning. else. Right, you want to kill him or should we let him go? It's up to you. You got two more today, two more hunts. I'd like to get a good look at that right side. That's the left side. It looks good. You can look at it right here. He's pretty wide. I think we should shoot him. What do you think? That's all. It's a hard decision. He's he's not as big as the one you showed me from earlier. But th that's the biggest one we've seen on this hunt. The one you showed us earlier. That's a good look at him right there. Yeah, he, he's a good. Oh uh, yeah. I like that deer. I said we take him. He, he's a nice deer. He's about as wide as his. Damn it. He's too oh, wide. Come on, buddy. Don't go running off. Okay. He's getting nervous. I say we shoot him. Yep. Yeah. He ain't gonna stay long. Alright. What's that right at about 160? Shoot him. Yep. All right. Here we go. There goes Barefoot Bob. Super cool dude. Look at the sunset behind us. Pretty skies. But, like I said, I'm running down here to give us a look at this buck while we still have a little bit of sunlight. But, buck I saw this morning definitely had a bigger rack. Didn't have a huge body, but definitely the best buck that I've seen here this morning. But, this guy came out. We still got about 30 minutes left to light. And I told Barefoot Bob, I like that deer. That's a good deer to me. And we saw five bucks at this sit. 
Uh, first one was pretty decent. Then two smaller eights and a spike. But this dude came out and I told Bear Football, I said, I want to shoot that deer. So he said, get up. And as soon as I took that Weatherby off a of safe, <sighs> here come the shakes. Man, nice Texas whitetail. And how about that, uh, that 6.5 Weatherby RPM? Smoked them. First deer I've taken with that cartridge and it absolutely smoked him. I'm coming up on him. He looks even bigger up close. But, uh, ooh, he's wider than I thought he was. Let's uh, turn his camera around and look at him. I'm excited. Uh, Barefoot Bob, he said that they tried to get this guy this morning, but he didn't give him a shot. So I'm happy he came back. Check him out. There he goes. Didn't go anywhere. He's got a nice wide rack on him. Good deer. Oh, he might even be bigger than an eight pointer. He's got one, two, three, four, five on this side. And then one, two, three, four, five on this side. So he's a 10 point, but this buddy right here is broke off. But man, he's a pretty deer. There you have it guys, the Weatherby. 6.5 RPM, absolutely smoked this guy, dropped where he stood, but beautiful, beautiful Texas whitetail. We're losing light, so I'll make it quick, but I'm happy to get this deer. And a big thanks to my new buddy, Barefoot Bob, for helping me get on this guy. Beautiful, beautiful deer. We're gonna take a whole bunch more pictures and put uh, more at the end of the video here. And get you guys an up close look at this guy. What are we doing here, Bob? Don't. I got a knife in my bag. It's a 10, but he's broke one off. Take it out of plastic. I like when they're like that. It's, a, it's more character. Oh, you're good. What we got? 155. It's still counting. 160? I feel like we're at a, a gold rush gold way. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call it 161. Woo. She didn't feel that heavy. 163, huh? I saw it go to. All right, so just in here in the skin and shit up close, when I pulled the trigger, I thought he was an eight pointer. Got up close, he was even wider than I thought he was. And he's got 10, but one's broke off right here. So real cool looking deer. And this one's an older guy than the one we saw this morning. So I'm tickled to get him over here in Texas. And well, he's busted up there, but his ears are all shredded too. So he's definitely been fighting off some of the other deer, both of his ears shredded up, but that Weatherby 6.5 RPM smoked him. I love it. But hey guys, appreciate you watching. 
Truly, truly appreciate you watching. This is one of my most favorite videos that I have ever edited in my life. We had an amazing deer camp full of some awesome, awesome people. Every single person out there, just incredible group of people. Truly, truly enjoyed my time out there down in Texas. We're at a ranch called Guitar Ranch over there near Abilene, Texas. Um, we were with, the, actually the whole point of the trip, and you'll see this in some more videos, we were with a group called Outdoor Solutions, and they have a program called From Field to Table, where we got our animals, and then they had their expert chef, Chef Albert, truly appreciate him, such a great guy, uh, really enjoyed spending time with him and sharing hunting stories, uh, but he is he is an expert I mean, I don't even know the words to say it, but he is, I mean, incredible chef. Naming all this stuff, he is just truly um, amazing at what he uh, what he does. Um, and he's got the, the career behind him and all the accolades you could ever um, talk about when it comes to cooking. But he's also a hunter. Um, so we had Chef Albert out there, literally took the time, hands on, no stupid questions, teaching us how to butcher our animals we had both hogs and deer um, how to butcher them how to make all different uh, cuts of meat what how do you cook each cut of meat what is tender what is not what is kind of tender um, how should you prepare your game in the field what should you do when you go to freeze it um, and I tried to I asked every question that came to mind um, and he was truly humble um, in answering my questions and helping to educate me about the whole butchering process um, then we had a night where all of us in the deer camp became the chefs essentially um, and Chef Albert and a, a few others helped us prepare a meal for 20 people. So me and, and my new buddy Hank actually cooked up some top loin from some hogs we got, believe that. Uh, we cooked some butternut squash. I cooked some mashed potatoes um, and it turned out to be an amazing four course meal that we cooked ourselves from the animals that we harvested, but super, 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 um, super blessed and super grateful to have the opportunity to go hang out with Outdoor Solutions, go through that course of butchering and the cooking and the preparation, um, and also to take this buck. The rifle that I was hunting with in this video, I'll put some more pictures here at the end, it's the Weatherby Mark V Hunter with the bronze barrel, and with their they're combining that with a, a different color stock. The one that they launched a little while back came with the speckled gray stock. Uh, but the Mark V Hunter, you guys have seen on the channel, me with the speckled gray in a 6.5 Creedmoor. Well, here in this video, we were hunting the deer with the Mark V Hunter with the new bronze barrel and the black speckled stock. They come with good triggers. It's a short bolt throw. It's just an all around a, a good rifle, the Weatherby Mark V Hunter. You guys have heard me talk about that in the past. But it was chambered in, like I said, the 6.5, whether it be RPM, and you guys saw the results on that buck. Nice buck, five-year-old buck. Um, super, super tickled to, to be able to harvest that buck. But I can sit here and ramble all day, like I said. Go check out Outdoor Solutions. Uh, I'm wearing my Crimson Tray sweatshirt. I got this thing like a year ago. That's just happenstance. We had a, a, a Crimson Trace uh optic on those weather bees as well you guys have heard me talk about them they're absolutely good especially for the money uh but hey appreciate y'all watching stay tuned for a whole lot more this video is almost like an emotional deal like i love i love deer hunting so much um and it was such a great time such great people hanging out with i i can't wait to do it again um i told them out there i'd love to come back and hang out um with outdoor solutions um, and all those guys there at that ranch as well. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you're subscribed. Let me know what you think about that cartridge, the 6.5, whether it be RPM. We're going to have more videos coming on that cartridge real soon. Appreciate y'all. Share the video. Truly appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm going to put some more pictures here from the hunt here at the end. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Shoot.